Should we stop comparing mobile and desktop performance? I mean, is it better just to acknowledge that they're different animals at this point and each has their own performance needs? Um, I, I would actually say quite the opposite. Okay. <laughs> um, I think, uh, yes, mobile and desktop are very different, but um, by what we're really doing when we're digging into mobile performance is we're highlighting the differences or we're sort of breaking some axioms about what we know about desktop performance uh, and talk about how they're different in the mobile world, right? We've gotten a little bit fat and lazy with sort of broadband speeds and powerful computers and um, and we've taken them for granted and that's mm. you know part of the reason that made WebH is so big. So when we talk about mobile performance, really a lot of it is about a bit of a wake-up call. Uh, and at the end of the day, mobile is the future. So you know, if anything, maybe you should stop measuring desktop performance. And we should sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just measure mobile performance because uh, because you know desktop is just one flavor of the variety of clients that we have. But I think today, what happens is uh, we need to measure mobile performance both because uh, just from a technology perspective, these tools are lacking. So we need to build up um, better tools, better or, um, awareness, so that they get better, and that is happening. Uh, but more importantly, and more long term. The measurement of mobile performance highlights what assumptions we can or can't make, and in most of the times, it's a bit of a, a realization that we can't make any assumptions, and we have to sort of adapt to the conditions and not, you know, think we have all these sort of great supporting structures around us. Mm, um, right. We need to sort of make do with less. So, definitely, you need to stick a, keep doing this. <laughs> so, what are the most important mobile performance metrics at this point? Um. Well, mobile is very much around, um, uh, th th uh, t today, mobile is such a big world, uh, a word. Today, when we talk about mobile web performance, uh, I think the metrics are very similar to those uh, that are logically the uh, used in desktop. Mm -hmm. um, so if you look at very technical terms, we're talking about the start render time, the time in which a user stops staring at a blank screen and, and actually uh, starts seeing something painted, uh, and the um, sort of document complete time or the onload event mm -hmm. where the browser progress indicators stop. Um, but really the right measurements that you should build towards is the questions like, when is the page interactive to a user? When did I deliver the bulk of the content that I wanted to that user? Those, those are logical points in time and we should keep tracking those. Um, so I don't think the metric itself changes a lot for mobile, sometimes measuring or grabbing that metric in mobile is a little bit tricky, but we should probably be striving at the same metric. How do you see mobile performance evolving over the next few years or so? You mentioned tools before. I mean, do you yeah. anticipate that those are going to become more robust? Um, yeah, I think there's two aspects to that. Again, I kind of am splitting up into questions, but um, there's the technical impl improvements. So yeah, the tools are going to get better. They are getting better. We're going to get LTE. We're going to get you know quad core and more mm -hmm. uh, mobile devices. So we're going to get more powerful devices. So they're going to shrink the gap a little bit uh, uh, between mobile and uh, desktop. But I think the mo the real change in mobile performance is going to be tied into the change in the mobile world and the use of the mobile web, right? We're sort of transitioning from uh, mobile websites to these web experiences, uh, right? Talking about Siri uh, or Robin now mm -hmm. in Android, or we're talking about uh, you know headsets that are connected to the web and talk to you or your computer in your car. You're veering away from the websites. So I think from a website perspective, it's going to just continue to evolve. The technologies are going to get better, although the gap is always going to be there. But the, maybe the more fundamental mobile performance changes are going to come alongside with, uh, alongside the fundamental changes in mobile itself. Uh, in which case, metrics and 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 uh, sort of how we think of performance and what is fast and how do you measure those would be more radical changes, right? How 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 do you measure, uh, you know, how quickly is your Car talking to you. Sure, or right. Receiving How quickly your your Google goggles are working, a right? You know, exactly. Those types of yeah. So, so I think that is really what's going to sort of rock our world a little bit hmm. uh, in mobile in general, and specifically in mobile performance metrics. And you see that in the short term that we'll start evolving more towards some of these these experiences, and then once those experiences become something that we're all using, optimization and the metrics associated with those experiences will we presumably change. follow suit, yeah, right? And we see a little bit of that today. We see it with mobile apps, and we see sort of the tricks that Instagram has took to sort of make yep. create perceived mobile performance better. Uh, we see um, we see Siri. We see you know GPS interactions, or well, those might be mostly about receiving data. But we see some of those today. But I think yes, those would increase. 
Uh, there's a whole trend in the mobile design community talking about how m mobile websites, websites, sh websites should think of themselves as uh, services and offer APIs for their content and for their services and functionality, even if you're an e-commerce or a news site. And then on top of that layer, uh, the interaction model, whether it's a website or something else. So when you think about that, there's probably performance metrics to be mm -hmm. had in the first year, and then dedicated performance metrics based on whether you're a website or you're um, something got pulled into a smart TV, or whether you're, uh, you know, something gets into a car dashboard, or you're speaking to somebody's ear. Right. So some big changes are yep. kind of hanging out there. So last question for you, and it's kind of an odd one, but in your speaker bio, you mentioned that you're an efficiency fanatic, and I was wondering, is that the type of thing that came up be because of your web work, or were you sort of hardwired towards that, and your web work meshed with it? Uh, I was probably hardwired <laughs> that way. I, uh, uh, I've been, uh, <laughs> my wife jokes that I have some OCD, uh, some obsessive compulsive uh, tendencies there. I, um, I definitely uh, am always looking for efficiencies for the best way to do uh, something. Even today when I look at a website I, and when I see sort of mistakes, the first words that come to mind is a waste. There's, there's <laughs> just there's wasted time in there. Sure. Uh, so, um, uh, no, I was probably hardwired that way, and that's probably not going anywhere. This is just my way to reach catharsis. Channel it, right? Yeah, yeah. just to uh, right, you know, right. <laughs> make some good use of it uh, instead of driving my wife crazy. Right. Right. Well, thanks so much for being with us. Appreciate it. Thank you.